Hey guys and welcome back to Trail Makers with me Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Honestly, I don't even know if we need buoyancy anymore. Okay, maybe we do. I was gonna say, like, are the monster truck tires strong enough, or uh, not strong enough, but big enough to kind of float us through the water? I can't even remember what this block was. This was a small block. Paddle. Okay, well, we didn't even notice this one. We'll just go backwards. All right, clearly we need to make some adjustments here. So we'll grab this. Where's the front? Right there. We'll just put another row on the bottom here. See what I mean? This is fantastic compared to like the, the ability to build in this. We are going to, hopefully today, build a larger vehicle. But I just need to find some more blocks, in a sense, to do it. Um, that kind of oh, whatever. We do know we do know from last episode that the bigger the block, the more durable it is. Which means that probably when we hit stuff, we won't just die. Okay, looks good. I added some stuff to it. Only thing I'll have to watch is that... Oh no, we should be fine. I was going to say, make sure that this... Uh, hello? You guys are seeing that, right? I think there's a glitch in the matrix here. Oh, you know what? I pitched you a million bucks. That these... No. Let's just go like this real quick. I think they might be connected to... Those. Or one of them. <clears throat> yeah, so... <clears throat> what is it? I accidentally... Double connected this block. Let's just rotate this one. But we can't connect to it. There we go. Everything's working perfectly. And maybe if I can drive better. There we go. Okay, well, that didn't work. What's going on here? Why are you not snapping down like you used to? Whatever. Can we get to the drone? Yeah. There we go. It finally went all the way down. Kind of interesting how even just that little bit was getting caught up. It was uh, stopping our drawbridge or whatever you want to say from capturing. Paddle. Don't know what the paddle's for. Obviously, obviously for a boat, but what else would we use it for? Huh. Spiked wheel. Okay. How do we make something so we can actually move this block? Like, we, we can definitely move it. Let's just see if we can move it in a decent way towards our drone. You're gonna fight me the whole way, aren't you? Yep, you just wanna go down in the water. You wanna make my life difficult, don't you? Yeah, you take that spiked wheel. Okay, so we could Frankenstein our vehicle. We even have the that's going to be the problem, too, is, like, we're right on mud here, so... And more or less, that's why the game's done it the way it is. Alright, let's go like this. This is not going to be pretty, you guys. I'm sorry, but... What happens when we hit dirt? Oh, we don't even have the weight to control this thing. It's just... Hmm. 
You need to stop moving. Because no matter what, we have to get this up a hill. Because our drone is right there. Alright, let me get this close to you guys. Uh, or until I mess it up somehow. But yeah, let me see what I can do. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a second. Alright, so, so far, we've gotten there. I just made the arms a little bit bigger. Uh, but now we have this hill to contend with. And, yeah. Oh, you know what? This might be the perfect time to try out that weight block. Because, obviously, this thing's a million times heavier than we are. And I think we're in shallow enough water that uh, buoyancy is not going to matter. So, let's try it out. Where did we find the weight block? Aerodynamics, hey? Paddle. Used to move water. Mm, figures. Balance. There we go. I'm going to assume we're going to need... Oh, this isn't connected anywhere? Okay, fine. Rotate. That way. Connect. And we'll delete that one, and we'll just go like this. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And you know what? Just for good measures. Yep, 67 blocks. Sounds good. Uh, we will... More monster truck wheels. They both in the same spot. Yep. Yeah. All right. This has to be enough, right? Uh, we definitely have more control over it. Question is, do we have the power to get it up the hill now? Why is it the front wheels don't have any power? I'm trying to lift it at the same time as. Hmm. Okay, fine. You can come down. If we push it to the side just a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Oh my goodness. Just trying to get some bite with these wheels. I got this, it, the way we're moving the block, or we're moving it in the water, I would say we have more than enough weight. It's almost like we need an articulation joint. And or, I wonder if we can use the pistons as like shock absorbers. Okay. Now you just want to get away from me. You know what? That, actually, that spot might actually not be too, but too bad because we'll be able to come down the hill on it. Oh, we're super heavy. Even our own vehicle's like, nope, I'm done with you. <laughs> well, that's why we don't have the power to move it. Uh, I don't think we can... Don't... Uh, let's... We'll check it out in one second here. I'm going to say, I don't think we have any unused... Ooh, power cores, but we do. It looks like that. Was that one going to make a difference? It could. It could be everything that we needed. And this thing's still moving. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep. We hit it with enough power to break stuff. Now we're pushing some dead weight. Slow and steady wins the race. See? I want the spiked wheels. Give me the spiked wheels. Oof. Okay, we got there. Uh, not enough space. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so how big are the spiked wheels? Good grip for a rough terrain. Hmm. They're a lot smaller than the monster truck wheels. Which is a little odd, but, uh... Alright. I will actually show you something, too, that's really cool about this. Is that you can click and drag and select all those blocks we don't want to select all of those ones. We want to select those ones. And we hit delete, and boom, they're all gone. Like, that is awesome. Like, that is going to make for quick builds very, very fast, right? Like this. Delete, delete. Um. Oh. No. All right, so we'll lower this down. How fast are we now? Still not that fast with the engines we have. Okay, either way, uh, let's see, did we... Ah, we don't really need that too much. 
So there was two over here that we neglected to get. And power core. I actually like how it shows you where the deep spots are. Huh. Alright, so I'm going to head over to the other island. Uh, and see if we can't find some large ones. There's got to be something good over there, right? Like, uh... Yeah, like, what's on that hill there? Hmm... Alright, so we got over here, just so you guys know, the back end of our vehicle is... Even though we have two buoyancies... Oh, okay. Um, two buoyancy blocks, it still stinks. <laughs> so it took me a while to get over here, but... Uh, I'm just trying to think, where's the next... Okay, so this is just a power core. You know, is it something we really need at the moment? No. Is it something I want? Yeah. Uh, look at how big this tree is compared to our vehicle, and our vehicle is smaller than the block we're pushing, and the wheels are even smaller than that. So, I'm not liking how this is going down the hill. Need to get out in front of it. Okay, well, you know what? Just restart. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll leave the power core alone. Let's go see what this one is. Gotta be... I'm just trying to think, like... Gotten a lot of good blocks, and I want to start making in a large vehicle. But we're just missing that, like, uh... What would you say? There's just that one missing piece. Round, now. Yeah. Got to be something out here. I'm going to build something fast. Let's go explore the ones that we can find on the ground. And uh, see which ones are actually, you know, if we can find that, like, one missing piece. All right, you guys. Nothing special. Um, I don't know, it seems like I'm stuck for some reason. Why would I be stuck? Because of that engine? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't build anything special like I was just saying. Uh, but, go like that like that somehow connect these to make them look cool let's go like I gonna look cool no it's not hmm. so if we go that move that up one move that up one not the ideal way and not the way I'd like it oh actually no let's delete that let's go to the aerodynamic blocks yeah. Rotate there. Copy paste. You know what? It'll do. Uh, let's do some other stuff here now that I'm thinking of these blocks. Oh, that one's way big. Did we not get a small one? Two by one. Rounded one by two. That would be kind of cool there. So... And then, copy paste. So just so you guys know also, the, the click and drag over top of everything. There. Boom. Uh, why did it not paint that block? Okay. I'm messing up here. Let's go paint. That one can go black. No. We want this one. So the secondary color. There we go. The connection points. Okay. So I did put all of our engines on here. We do have six er, power cores. Uh, can't really drive too much in this. Alright, the steering's a little, little tight in this. That's where I want to go, though. Alright, looks like we've uh, found a way in or onto this island. Once again, not 100% sure what we're looking at here, but as you guys can see, I came up this way along the edge, and then we're going through this river, and then hopefully here. So, what I was talking about is, hopefully we can go up here. Check this one out, this one out. Hopefully there's a couple other ones. Looks like, looks like there's another one there. You gotta go up this hill, jump over here. To this one, and then over here to this one. And then this one we know is a power core. So hopefully, there's a... That missing piece hidden in there. I also put some paddles on this vehicle. Uh, the paddles actually don't do anything, so I'm guessing there's also another missing piece for those. Hmm. So, I will open up the inventory in just a second here. Look at the size of that one.
Okay. Okay. What are we at? 77 kilometers per hour. Wow. Okay. Can we bump this one off? I'll just keep it pinned. Keep it pinned. Uh, repair. Oh, man. Man. We're airbag. Okay. Start his back up. No, huh? Okay. What is that one? Raw engine. Not enough space. Okay. Build beam. There's going to be enough space. Build beam. Oh. Apparently not. I love backspace, you guys. Not go wrong with it. Okay. So we're almost there. I just want to knock this one off. It's a different engine. It's a new engine. Come on. Repair? Build beam. There's got to be enough space for build beam. Repair? Oh, repair did work. Oh, and... Hmm. Okay. Kind of feel like we need some weight behind us. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, this has to be enough, right? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, doesn't matter. No, I re- Oh, our guy just like goes flying up in the air. Alright. Don't- oh, come on. Gotta be a way. No way. We just jumped down like this. I don't know how we didn't spawn back in with a vehicle, but... Don't kill us. <laughs> um... Anyways, I'm gonna hit back sp Oh, no! And it didn't save our tech either, or our vehicle. I'm not happy about that. Alright, you guys. Rebuilt it. Saved it. Changed a few things. Uh... But, like the front end here. I don't know if I really like the front end that way, but uh, either way, let's see what we can do. We need to get this engine down. Uh, and we're getting pulled to the left. Okay, well anyways. That happened. Uh, let's go like this real quick. Let's check the wheels. Forward. Forward. Backwards. Forward. Why do we always have that problem? Gotta find out why that happens all the time. Uh, and then weights. What we're gonna do is copy and, and paste. Need to rotate these because I completely forgot that we need to put some weight on the back of this so that we hit this thing hard enough to bump it off. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's actually just save this real quick. Like that, and save. New old save. Perfect. Oh, we need to, we need more speed than this, right? Yeah, we were getting up to 80k. Oh, okay. Well, oh, we're going even faster. 96. Yep. Okay, reset us down here. If not, we'll even go down there. Okay. So, hit the brakes. Gotta be a way down there. And then we'll switch vehicles. Nailed it. Okay, where's our big block here? I wish there was like an e-brake. Uh, but either way, uh, let's hold down R. Ooh, sneaky. Go three. Uh, B? Can we set this to three? Yeah, there we go. Three. And... Yeah. Looks good. So, R1. Okay, I thought one would be a big enough vehicle to push this. Not even moving it. 
And we have to push this up a hill? Uh, been there, done that. Oh, we're probably gonna back up. Let's go. All right, you guys, so I've got it built. It's a weird looking contraption, but uh, hopefully it does the job. We're using the monster truck wheel. Sorry, it keeps rolling. Using the monster truck wheels, just one cab, and then we're using pistons on the side to uh, open and close. So we can kind of pinch it. So that, and then I also have pistons so we can lift ourselves up off the ground. So hopefully it works. I also learned something really, really good in this game that I've never seen in another game uh, of this type, right? So I will show you guys that after we get this block up. And I'm really sorry, it seems like days and nights go pretty fast. So let's pinch it. Okay, now I don't want to go oh, too crazy. Just enough to get it up off the ground. Oh, it could have been a little bit bigger. But that's okay, we, we have it. We have this tech, <laughs> or this, uh, sorry, the raw engine. And it's working. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to save this blueprint because uh, I was really quite surprised, or I'm quite surprised that this can pick it up and how easily we're moving around with it and that it worked. And then obviously how I built it, uh, I did mess up in one or two times. And then the second time I was a little annoyed because it was gonna cost or take a little bit of time to put everything together. And I will show you how I was able to fix it and find out this thing that uh, I've never seen in another game. Like I haven't seen it in Scrap Mechanic. Terra Tech doesn't have anything close to what this, what is there. So I wanna show it to you guys. It's really, really cool. Uh, as soon as we get up here. I wonder how good these raw engines are. Thing's massive. But now we have a massive uh, boulder mover. The raw engine. Perfect. So I do want to check that out. So wings and tail fins. Okay, I don't know why, but uh, blocks unlocked. Okay. Lift according to speed, stability, and air resistance. So the raw engine gave us enough high acceleration, low top speed. Well, we can put two of them on. Do you think I'm. Man, you know what? Oh, let's put two of them on. Why would we do that? Ooh. Honestly, this is probably the wrong vehicle to be doing this to, but, uh... That's okay. Uh, no. Oh. Uh, and I have them on here backwards, too. Uh, let's go like that. There. And, oh wow, these things take up two power cores per? That's actually interesting, okay. Makes sense though, right? They're bigger engines. Uh, let's just check this out real quick. Um, apparently they're super heavy too. <laughs> All right. Okay, pull it together. We'll get low to the ground too. Not bad. Actually, it'd probably be pretty good because if we're going to use this for like lifting larger blocks like the, the one that I can see right here, uh, it's gonna help out a lot okay so what I want to do first is I'll go in here I'm going to highlight it all save it all we'll call it big lift for the moment we definitely will get build something better but this uh, proof it shows a little proof of concept now what I want to show you guys <clears throat> what was irritating me because I had built this uh, with one less piston on the side here I only had the one piston and it wasn't wide enough right so what you can do is you have to be a little careful, but you go like this. Uh, it's kind of difficult. There you go. So we have all of that right highlighted. Now, if you use your arrow keyboard, you can disconnect the whole thing and just walk it out. So I was able to add the extra piston and then boom, reconnect it. That's an unbelievable building thing. Like. 
I know, probably over talking here, but that is fantastic. Okay, what's this big boy? Uh, no, down. Need to open up. This one's definitely going to try and run on us immediately. I think it's three to close, yeah. Small tail fin, okay, well. This one's still around. Oh, is it actually going to just... Find its way right into us? No, uh, we need to stop moving. Spellmakers, if you are watching, I'm sure you've had enough complaints about it, but you definitely need to get an e-break in the game. I wonder if we can just push it. Or, I shouldn't say, I wonder if. We're just gonna push it. Oh. Yep, that works. Hmm, it's just a little too heavy on the front. <clears throat> Why use the monster truck wheels? Not a hundred percent sure. Like, we have to have this, right? Oh, you can see some strain happening here, you guys. <laughs> and it's so perfectly round. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't seem to... Okay, let's go like this. I... <laughs> we keep building more and more stuff. It's like, this should be fairly easy. Uh, aerodynamic blocks. Rotate. And here, copy paste. Oh, no. Why is this one longer, too? <clears throat> just put some bumpers in the way so that, uh, you know, just in case we can get a good grip on it. Or add grip at all. Like, maybe, hopefully, those triangles will kind of hold it in place. Okay. Hit two. Down under. Need something to push it up against. So, the tree. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Three to lift. Nope. I didn't want to close, but one to lift up off the ground. So far, so good. <laughs> this is insane. I'm actually quite surprised. Yeah, uh, we could also switch the the wheels to the smaller wheels. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. The smaller wheels, and then we'd get even closer to the ground and be able to lift these up a little bit tighter. Um, but at the moment, this is working perfect. I just have to find that. No, no, don't fight me. Just sit back, relax, go along for the ride. Whew. Okay, <laughs> that one was super difficult, but uh, we definitely learned some stuff there. Quite a bit of stuff. How to build, you know, different tech or building techniques in the game that they built to make it more user friendly. Um, obviously, the, the pistons aren't super weak, so we can pick up large objects, um, and we can make them even stronger too. Like there's adjustments inside of them. I think when you configure, speed, straps, and then there's show advanced. So you can do a lot of stuff, right? Uh, delays, durations. Quite interesting, some of the stuff you can do. Uh, provides aerodynamic drag and direction stability. Guess what? Uh, we're going to have 
to build something that can fly sooner or later, but we only have that. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.